the oceans are the world's biggest carbon sink, absorbing 25% of our emissions. But we've asked too much of them, and our seas are close to saturation. Scientists in California want to walk this back. Their weapon of choice, a carbon capture barge. So this type of process has the ability to achieve the 100, the million tons per year scale that would be necessary for global CO2 reduction, which is at the order of 10 gigatons per year. Each of these barrels is an electrolytic cell. The way that the process works is that we take uh, seawater, we run an electrical current through it, we use the electricity to initiate a series of chemical reactions um, to produce acid and base. And what that allows you to do is you essentially squeeze the sponge, which has removed the CO2, and then allows the sponge to take up more CO2. And a useful byproduct, hydrogen. Now in high demand for storing renewably produced energy. Purely experimental for now, scientists hope to see their carbon removal technique developed on an industrial scale. According to January's State of Carbon Dioxide Removal report, depending on emissions reduction, we would need to remove between 450 billion and 1.1 trillion tonnes of carbon from the atmosphere by the year 2100, if we're to slow global warming in line with the Paris agreements. But there will be no substitute for cutting greenhouse gas emissions.